when it first started, the office was in this town. And this is the town I grew up in. So it started out in a small office. It was just a prototype type of program. I, you know, I look back and I try to think who I was as a kid. I definitely, you know, struggled a little socially. I, you know, was, you know, highly volatile and, and emotional and didn't really understand social cues very much. I, you know, I had certain circles of friends when I was a kid, but it was definitely a little tough. My dad had this program being put together and I went through it a few times. When I work with kids now, I can look at them and, and relate to them. And even the kids who are like nonverbal, it's like I, I can just understand why things might might irritate them or why things are tough for them or it's just but I understand that it's a it's a process you know and you, you really do have to trust this type of process it's healing in every sort of way and chiropractic is part of it chiropractic is definitely you know a very powerful tool it all it all integrates and that's kind of the goal I think in the future and that's kind of his goal overall is to integrate all of this integrate it with medicine integrate it with osteopaths integrate it with chiros integrate it with physical therapy change the way that we look at kids, you know, change the way we test kids and look for things like primitive reflexes. You know, these are things that have been existing since the beginning of, of you know, human evolution. Talking, talking to Dr. Rob, talking to my dad, he's a very deep guy, you know, and I think he has so much, you know, that goes on in his head and, and all his intentions are so pure, but it's gonna take a while for him to really help everybody understand what his goal is, you know what I mean? You know, a lot of people tend to overlook the science, they may not believe it, but the world needs to know that this is something that is, it's gonna change the way that we assess the development of children. It's the way we assess the development of adults. It, the way that the human brain has been developing, it's just one of the fr like, you know, the frontiers of science is the human brain. Same thing as, you know, deep space or the deep ocean. It's something that's, you know, still a mystery to us. When you can really take the science and understand how the brain works and why certain personalities, why certain traits might surface a certain way, there's an explanation for everything. And I think that's that's something my dad has pinpointed, is understanding the assessment and the way the brain might surface and how certain symptoms like some things like autism can be explained way further than it is today. It's a pattern. There's things that can be you know, foreseen and, and measured and if you can measure it, then you can, you can help, you know, fix it. I've seen a lot of these kids go through dramatic changes, and I only see them for an hour or two a day when I work at this uh, office, but the parents, they, they, can, they swear, and it's shocking the type of changes we get to see. So it's not just a shred of hope. It's not just, you know, let me show. It's, it's actual changes that, that surface and change the trajectory of, of a child's life, which, you know, is a beautiful thing.